The NBA is back and the Chicago Bulls open the season tonight versus the high energy Oklahoma City Thunder. If you ain't excited about that, can you really call yourself a Bulls fan? Last thing, the most important piece is we're going to take the North and never give it back. Subscribe. Welcome to Three Point Stance Pod, where we don't claim to be experts. We just give our takes, take it or leave it. We'll be fine either way. Let's, let's go. Hello, Three Point Stance viewers. This is Octavius Vernell Brown reporting for Three Point Stance Podcast. Call me OV for short. Take a second to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the show in a big way. The NBA is back, basketball fans, and the Chicago Bulls open the season tonight versus the high-energy Oklahoma City Thunder. The Bulls are running it back one more time, resigning Nikola Vucevic, Andre Drummond, Kobe White, and Ayo DeSumo. New additions to the team include the free agent signings of Javon Carter, formerly of the Milwaukee Bucks, and Terry Craig, formerly of the Phoenix Suns. Having zero picks in this summer's draft, the Bulls traded into the second round to secure defensive wing Julian Phillips out of Tennessee and signed undrafted Adama Sonigo, who recently led the Yukon Huskies to a national championship and won most outstanding player of the tournament. The Bulls didn't stop there. Looking to unearth another international gem, they signed Turkish player Onurout Benham, who played in the EuroLeague. Let's not get it twisted. The Thunder feature a lot of young talent that are scrappy, and they're led by Shea Gilgis Alexander and Chet Holmgren, who's returning from a foot injury he suffered last August in the Seattle Pro-Am. So here are a few things I'm keeping my eye on and looking forward to seeing from the Bulls tonight. The first thing I'm looking forward to see is how the Bulls defend Chet Holmgren. Chet is 7-1. He can handle the rock like a point guard, and he can stretch the floor with his shooting. It's gonna be really tough on Vooch and Drummond. They need to try to be as physical as they can with him and try to wear his body down. The second thing I'm looking forward to seeing, Kobe White versus SGA. Will Kobe stay aggressive on both ends now that he's back in the starting lineup? Man, I love what I've seen in the preseason from his aggressive drives, improved court vision, and his energetic defense. Third thing I wanna see, will the Bulls finally play through Nikola Vucevic? A lot was mentioned about Vooch wanting to be more involved in the offense around the time he signed his three-year, $60 million extension back in June. I would love to see him get more touches in the paint and allow him to do his thing in the post. Three-point shooting. The Chicago Bulls made a focused effort in putting up more threes this preseason. The question is, can they make them at a high clip? We need the Bulls to be a high-volume three-point shooting team, but they also need to be efficient and make them. Last but not least, we need to see the Bulls push the pace. I need to see a lot more transition and fast break basketball. I would love to see if they can match the Oklahoma City Thunder with their high paced offense. If they allow Chet to get settled and lock down the paint, it's gonna be trouble. So a fast break and transition basketball and pushing the pace will definitely be a plus for the Bulls tonight. All right, Bulls fans, that's all I got for you tonight. But do us a favor. Head to the comments and tell us what you are looking forward to in tonight's game. And as we always like to say at this time, when we end an episode, stand, stand, what you believe, what you believe, in. Peace, peace, peace.